Oh, hi and welcome. My name is Daniel and I welcome you back to Let's Play Monster Hunter World. I spawn. Where are you waving again, Pinky? What are you doing? Stop it, man! That cat is so stupid. <laughs> and yeah, I forgot to pop up something on my PC. Let's just pretend that I'm very professional, right? Okay. And yeah, um, as you can see, my equipment changed a little bit since the last time. We did the Witcher mission in the last time, and in the meantime, I did some stuff. I did all of the uh, Master Rank optional quests, at least every one, every single one that I could manage to do. Um, yeah, I think I already got all of those. To feel all of those things, there are some things that I didn't do. I didn't fight against this thing, apparently. Um... I tried to fight against this thing off screen, but yeah, it was a little bit too hard right now, so yeah. Anyway, um, oh yeah, also did all of those monsters. Was actually pretty hard at some point because I decided to uh, create a new armor after I defeated all of those because I wanted to see what armors they give and all that. And yeah, but right now I have completely new armor. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on what I have. Boom. Alright, got all of these. And yeah, everything's blue except my weapon, which is a work in progress. Um, you can see all the things that I have in there. There are all my skills. Boom. I have this one. I don't really know if it actually works. Because, yeah, stun on a draw attack that didn't happen so far. And this one, where is it here? This one either speeds up weapon sheeting. I don't think that works with with a great sword. I don't see a difference. But yeah, I decided to use this uh, armor because it just gives a little bit more defense, which I probably need. I mean, just look at what I had before i saved what i had for the last time i think it was this one just look on the right corner down there i basically got 100 more defense now so yeah i think that's a fair trade-off and yeah i don't have stun uh defense again so i do get stunned in battle now if i get hit a little bit too often which is why I died a few times off screen. And yeah. I don't know. If there's a powered up version of those sunglasses, then I will probably create that again. But so far, there isn't. And I switched to like a helmet that gave me like a little bit more defense and stuff. So yeah. Um, I also unlocked some quests after capturing some monsters, arena quests. And I found like a pink Raytheon off screen and then i unlocked a new quest and yeah this one woman in the smithy also gave me a few quests every time i completed a certain quest got some more ingredients for the cooking thing even though i don't see a difference <laughs> and yeah so a lot has happened off screen and we're just gonna go and continue all way to the main story which i have to go to the ancient forest to do stuff so yeah let's go over here eat something because i'm imagining there's something big coming and preventing me from doing some research just in case and yeah of course i don't know but yeah let's just be a little bit more cautious shall we never know what happens now the map didn't say there was a new monster i think it said like great yagras and some other monsters that i had already discovered didn't meet a new monster off screen i did find some traces but yeah sometimes it's unknown but i think those unknown traces turned into like i don't know what is it fulgur anjanev and yeah, if I haven't discovered a monster completely, then it still shows me up as unknown monster. I think that's what happened, right? But I still think there's 
at least one unknown monster in my hunter's note so yeah there's something walking around here that i haven't seen yet so yeah maybe we find this thing or maybe we fight against the full guy and yanev i'm not sure i just expect it to be not as hard as the rattlers and all that stuff because those things kicked my butt off screen a few of them so i hope my adventure goes a little bit well now because those monsters got a little bit strong ah, i forgot to give my my cat new equipment i all i tried to do that off screen but i forgot each time oh yeah i also found out that you can like set up your your stuff here your uh, what shows up in your whatever that thing is called and yeah which is a little bit better because even though i don't have first uh first eight meds if i pick them up they automatically sort each other right behind my mega potions so i don't have to go like oh where's my first eight med because it's like at some random spot and yeah i i really hope that they just added that right now because <laughs> if they didn't then that means i missed this after like 300 hours of playing this game <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing it's like with octopath traveler all over again why i missed the concussion <laughs> command even though it's it was right there but i just blended it out because i never used it <laughs> uh, well, whatever let's continue we are looking for some what's this thing called again well car or something like that oh yeah my health booster is now upgraded because i did a mission for this smithy woman that wanted to like upgrade my health booster don't know what i had to fight against i think it was like a radiant and a pink radiant right and yeah, after I did that, I got a upgraded health booster, which is basically a health booster that is up for like a half a minute or so longer and has a wider range, which I really like. So yeah, um, all right, uh, it's here, here since the beginning, sleeping, awake, short, long, what? <laughs> Sleeps there, awake and see her, always repeating. Then I wake there, sleeps here, I wake both here and there. I need to turn up the volume a little bit because I can't hear anything. Intensifying. Thank you. You You did not really help us out much. How can something sleep and awake short and long at the same time? That's what I got out of this. But yeah, we are finding tracks of this this elder dragon, but we are also finding stuff from something unknown, which I'm guessing is gonna appear right now. Right? Let me guess. She's gonna walk up there. Something big happens, and we have to save her. Yep. There we go. What is it? The Toby Kadachi, right? There was something in the trees, so oh, it's a oh, what is it? Naga Kuga. Uh, Rattle us already. 
I want to join in the fun. Nagakuga, yeah. Oh, let's go and defeat this thing. Oh, maybe not. Come on. You're most definitely gonna give me a quest to defeat this thing, so why wait for that? Okay, Nagakuga, that name sounds familiar. Did that monster have uh, appear in Monster Hunter 3 too? Because that sounds really familiar. But I don't, I'm not completely sure. I heard the name before. But I'll, I'm, I was also wandering around Wikipedia, like, not anymore, but back then a little bit. Just to, like, I don't know, curiosity. Maybe that's why I read the name. I'm not completely sure, but it sounds kind kind of too familiar, just like this one monster that someone brought up in the comments, like what was it called again? Fatalis something? Die Fatalis? Yeah, I heard that name before too, but it didn't appear in Monster Hunter 3, I think. But this, this uh, sounds a little bit more familiar to me so maybe it ha it appeared in months and free i don't know you just tell me um so yeah blah, blah, blah. so you found out what took to be traced from Velkana in the ancient forest then you spoiled a naga kuga a species that has never been seen in the new world and to add into that we just received a report that a glavinos was spotted in the wild spire ways okay that name doesn't tell me anything what do you make out of this situation hmm well, the last time we saw sudden changes in the environment, it was because of elder crossings, right? I think it's likely that some kind of external factor is causing the changes this time too. That's what must have led the Nagakuga and Glavinus going berserk. And what do you think? I think it's because of the DLC. <laughs> uh, I mean, I agree with the chief. I think we'll be seeing a lot more species come out hiding soon, just like the Nagakuga did. Yeah, you got good intuition, the both of you. Now then, we need to look further into these newly active monsters and search for more traces of Velkana. I want you to investigate the Nagakuga and Galvinos. Glavinos. Glavinos. Yes, I am for the Velkana. Okay, that's basically like what we had to do with Nagigante, right? I really hope we can do that while we are going for those things because that sounds like something that I don't know I have to do off screen again and I don't really want to so but we didn't get much experience let's say from this one mission but then again we only walked around for like what five minutes so if you probably walk around like half an hour and find traces all over the place, maybe we can actually find this thing. And yeah, let's just continue. It's two, all right. Wait, what? Oh, a sign. Yeah. Oh no, it's monster rank three. Monster rank three. Okay, this one I don't know. Okay, because we saw already this one. Let's go and fight this one. Shall we? Um, yes, let's try. I mean, we should be, if we are careful enough, we should be able to win, right? I get a little bit, I don't know. Because I wanna, it took a lot of time to like do all those quests off screen, and at some point, I get a little bit, I don't know, I lose my patience a little bit, and I want to record the next session, and yeah, that's why. Get a little bit hasty, but I think. Wait, do I have everything? Uh, yeah, where is it? An ancient force, right? I didn't, I didn't look up now. But yeah, if we are careful, then we should be able to defeat this thing. We have 
got enough equipment and if, if this uh, pff, and if this thing isn't doing something really nasty like i don't know stunning poisoning and all that then yeah should be good i will just make sure that we win in the end even if it takes like half an hour or something or longer man the fight against the rattlers the high rank no not high rank master rank rattlers was really annoying because each time it was in this each time the one quest oh yeah look at that boom my potions are all over here my stuff my eating stuff is all over here that is a lot better i wish i would have found that out a little bit early uh, unless it was actually added once the dlc came out but i doubt that i just think i was a little bit too stupid to find it oh there we go so yeah uh what did i want to say before that uh i forgot i don't know i wanted to say something <laughs> but then i was like oh yeah look at that my potions are all lined up i don't know oh yeah the rattlers that one mission and that where i had to fight against the rattlers pretty annoying because each time uh when it wandered around there was always a radiant next to it and they would both team up against me so i got a little bit of a heart attack when i when i saw that i have to do like a quest where i had to fight against two of those things to like upgrade my health booster but then i found out that one of them was a radian and one of them was a pink radian and they don't go well too much so yeah they fought against each other i actually fought did this i did this battle and i defeated like what the normal radian in like under 10 minutes or something it was like what world record like a personal world record for me like I was surprised how I how easily I defeated this thing. But yeah. Thank goodness that it wasn't like a red alert and a radian. Because I think that is something that I couldn't manage right now. I think I need a stronger weapon. I really need a stronger weapon. I mean I do have a stronger weapon, but they don't have like this healing health regen ability on them. And that makes a lot of a difference for me makes me able to stay alive for a long time and when I, once i start to grind like stuff to do that into another weapon yeah that didn't really work i think the fastest method that you can do is like accept this one quest where you have to fight like uh two high tempered devil joel which is a really is a real big pain in the butt to do so yeah i'm not looking forward for that battle and i did that like what 10 times and i didn't got like the stream strong that i need for a sword so yeah it was a little bit annoying i didn't try that after i got my new equipment so maybe the battle would go easier a little bit now but still, I'm not looking forward for this battle. And I, oh. there it is. I was just about to say we, we are not finding anything of this thing. But here it is. Okay, the Indian F was over here. God dang it! You get over here. I maybe need a little bit of your help. it's too far away yeah whatever um this thing looks really familiar and the name also tells me something i think that monster up here the monster under three doesn't it do like something to blind me or something no what okay Okay, fight against the dog, please. 
I really want to see this thing fighting against Radiant or or Radalos. There's a Radalos here. I feel like there's a turf bar coming out of this. Oh yeah, off screen I saw like a turf war between a Diablos and 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 oh god, what was it? I think Fulga Anyanov. I think that one was you. I'm not sure because I didn't see like Diablos fighting against an Anyanov for a normal one. I'm pretty sure because they would. I don't think I mean the Diablos only appears in like the wild spire ways, right? And the onion F doesn't appear in that. So I figured that one was new. But I'm not sure. I really hope we see this one again on screen. Oh, why are you not attacking? Oh yeah, I have to plunder blade on Pinky. Which gives me a little bit more stuff to to loot from those things. Oh, awesome! Even though I just get junk from like those golden things, but I think that's what's supposed to happen, right? I think we get more stuff at the end. That is what this actually does, right? Not that stuff that like those golden stuff that they drop. It's always like what lustrous scale or something. Yeah, there we go. That's what I always get. Right, I wanna. God dang it! Oh yeah, I also leveled up all of the Palico equipment to level 15. Perfect. Okay, I want to jump. In. Come on. So, all right, let's go over here. Okay, now. No. There we go. Just rolled into that. Okay, so far, not too hard. What? Oh, you just got stuck with this. <laughs> I'm over here. You can't hit me. Okay. Go and get your tail, please. Thank you. Ugh. Yes, go after it. All of them. Uh, okay. Uh. And I barely got hit from this thing so far. That's a good sign. This thing is a thousand times easier than the rattle loss. No, I want to hit your head. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I have quick sheet on my equipment, but it doesn't look any faster. So maybe it doesn't work with the great sword. How you? I mean, how are you supposed to quick sheet up a great sword? But still, on yeah, I don't have stun resistance anymore because I don't have the sunglasses. I only have like oh okay. I only have those layered armor sunglasses, but not the literal one as equipment. So I'm a little bit vulnerable to stun, and I get stunned after getting it a little bit too often, and its eyes turned red. So yeah, that makes that means I'm a little bit more in dangerous now, in danger. I get stunned like that again. I want to climb this thing. This one attack. 
Okay, you need to get out of here because I need to sharpen my sword unless you let me do it now. Oh, it's tail got stuck. Wow. I think it. Uh. Yep. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, I need some Yagras. Uh, that's not what I meant, but that's not too bad to you get over here because i have health regen and i heal myself by hitting stuff so yeah sometimes i forget that i can just go up to some random monsters and heal myself up instead of like using one of my vulnerable potions okay i really hope we can find tracks of this elder dragon outside of the oh yeah boom i can charge my attack while sliding i did not know that either i found out so many things off screen oh god dang it really get over here please Oh really? Oh, there we go. Uh. In your face. Uh, okay. Don't know where you are. Over there, okay. Uh. Uh. Eh. Man, this thing is a lot easier than what's it called? Spare off, bury off, bury off, yeah, bury off. This thing is a lot easier to defeat. And I'm kind of mad that this stun attack doesn't work. Even though I have two pieces of barrier of armor. If it really doesn't work for great swords, then I should really specify that. Like, I mean, that's, that's just some things that i would like to have explained i know this game is like something that you really have to learn like there, there's not really like i mean the game doesn't give you that much explanations on some things like that but sometimes i just wish the game would be a little bit more specific Because I don't see a difference. Like, I'm my sheeting speed is supposed to be a little bit better, but I don't see it. And I fought with this thing like over 300 hours now, most of the time. And on first sight, I don't see a difference. All right, didn't actually want to mount you, but okay. I mean, of course I wanted to mount you, but. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen again. I think there's like a cooldown or something like that. How many times I can mount you in like, what, 10 minutes or something? Which makes sense because if it if there wasn't a cooldown, that just would mean that I could mount you all over again. Like over and over again. And that would be a little bit broken and made the battles a little bit easier. Uh, was that the tail? No, it was the wing, right? Oh god. Did this tail just grow bigger or did I just see things? Where is it? Oh. What?
Okay. Battle. Wow, I just realized this thing is almost dead. That can't be. I mean, sometimes this like I don't even know how you call that like this line under the picture of the monsters. Sometimes it just is a little bit random, but it was almost a straight line, so that usually means it's almost dead. But oh, there it is. That can't be right. Like we fought like ten minutes. Okay, before we defeat this thing, however, I would like to find some more tracks of that Elder Dragon. Hey, look at that. So easy now. <laughs> I'm so glad that I found this. Hi. I was also wondering why the ouch why the quest counter always shows like I don't know there's like a complete next to the like rank and if it's blue that means there usually are some quests left right and if it's golden then that means there are no left so if it's blue it means like I still have to find that quest and then I have to do it right and I completely forgot that if you capture monsters they sometimes appear in like an arena quest. I think those are the things that are missing. Because after I captured like this, I don't know, what is it called? Coral Puky Fouquet. I instantly got our arena quest. And I think that is what was missing. Even though there's, it still says like complete in our blue color. So I guess there's still some stuff missing. But yeah. Now I don't know if I can cut off the tail. Sometimes you can just break a tail. So if it's still on it by the end of the battle, I just assume that I didn't manage to cut it off. Even if it's only breakable. I don't know, I have to like look at the hunter notes. Unless I break it off right now. Nope. Uh. Oop. Oh, you're on the ground? Okay. It fell over. Look at this stupid thing. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, now I'm fighting like a... Like an absolute pro. But off screen, I had so much trouble with like the rattle loss, Diablos, and all that. I would figure that I would have more problems against a monster that is completely new, but no. I don't get this. <laughs> but to be honest, this thing doesn't really do much. Like, yeah. It swings its tail around and shoots this like spikes occasionally. I mean the barrier of is a lot more annoying. Create I mean it flies around in the air and jumps at you. Creates like those those storms, those whirlwinds. It can freeze you. I mean this thing is really easy. Why didn't I fight against this thing first? Uh, uh. But this thing looks cooler, like this black and this black color, sometimes red eyes. Uh -huh. Now I can't hit it. Ah, get a little bit closer. Ah. Uh -huh. Boom. Thank you. Ah. Ah.
Voll HP. Gemäß. Maybe I'm a little bit more concentrated now. Like, I actually slept really well. Usually, I don't know, I'm a little bit tired. And I did all those side missions after work, so maybe I got was a little bit too tired and yeah was not at my 100 percent i don't know i took a little nap after work i'm fully rested maybe that's why i even slept well before like usually i only have like a, have like a few hours that i slept but this time i was sleeping really well and i took a nap on top of that so <laughs> Maybe that's the reason, but I'm not sure. Uh, uh, uh. I also got used to like firing my my slinger while having my weapon out. Sometimes it's a little bit not too good, but still okay. I just realized uh, hunter notes is that the monster that that was always unknown nope maybe that's like the other monster that I unlocked unlocked <laughs> so yeah let me please find some more of those tracks I already forgot the name of this thing again <laughs> Balka or something. I really would like to find. I would really like to completely fill this bar. Because knowing my luck, I can't find any traces in the wild spire waste where I have to go next. So, how about. Let me just go up there. And see if I can find some tracks. We have some time to spare after all. I know I'm playing really risky. Maybe I'm not even close on defeating this thing. Let me just go up here because, like, there's one area where I would suspect some trails of this thing. And it's like around here, probably, where the rattle loss is at. Nope. Let me get some rattles trails while I'm here. Don't think I have like level nine of this. Because if I find like the remaining trails of this elder dragon here, and I don't have to do like some off-screen work, and I would really appreciate that, because I really want to like continue the story today so that I can set up some I don't know off-screen stuff again uh, I didn't actually I did okay my guess was wrong I didn't find any elder dragon uh, uh, no <laughs> any elder dragon trails here Funny what a slide. Ah. Oh perfect, that thing's going over there as well. So I'm just hoping that I find some trails and wild spire waste. And if not then I just have to do an expedition off screen and oh I cut off the tail. Didn't even notice that. Just make sure we defeat this thing. I really don't want to lose this mission because time was running out. Aha. We will get down here. 
Oh, now I have to remember to get back up there from the tail. Boom. Uh. Okay. Oh, you're going again? Come on. Okay. Uh, where is the tail? Up here, right? Hmm. There. Okay. I didn't really. I didn't really notice that I was like cutting off the tail. I saw it like walking away from me. But yeah. Okay. You. Solar flash. Uh. Ah. It's like stepping into a shower with freezer when he's naked. Oh wait, freezer is always naked. Ah. Hope oh, someone got that reference. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what? Just climbed up there and came down again. Me, birds. Yeah, this thing is almost dead, right? Oh, God. Uh. Oh, that please, thank you. No, I didn't eat it because I was climbing. Oh, oh it's still here. Good. I was about to say, did I just miss out on that? I don't know. I just stumbled across someone playing Monster Hunter World, where well, I didn't really stumble across. But well, actually, yeah, I did scum scum uh, stumble across. I think someone was fighting like the barrier. Oh god, dang it! Now I probably die, right? Yep. <laughs> wow. Uh, I should really put some stun resistance in my in my armor again. Because that's like the only way I die off screen. Because I get stunned and I take like a ton of more damage. So yeah, kind of annoys me. I should also really put fortify in my weapons. I usually have that. <laughs> but I think like, oh, I can put some better stuff in my stuff. But since I die so often off screen now, maybe that's worth a thought. So yeah, anyway, I stumbled across like one video of someone fighting against the barrier of just to see like how other people I didn't really look like at other people playing this game. I don't think I ever started watching a let's play of this game. But yeah, this person was like Pulling out everything like like two traps. I mean, it was only like a 10-minute video. It was like heavily cut. But yeah, this person put down like two traps. I don't know, just to like not to capture the monster, but to damage it, like trapping it in place and then doing a lot of damage and all that. And I remember watching way back then and let's play off monster hunter 3 and people usually huh, i just wasted my health health booster <laughs> and a lot of people resort on using traps and all that which yeah i mean it can make battles easier but then again i'm a little bit too lazy to always create like those traps and yeah bring them with me I noticed a lot of people use them to make their battles easier, but I don't know. They're really necessary. Like, I mean, yeah, I died, but yeah. 
so maybe i'm the wrong person to talk about that maybe i'm not as good at this game as okay but well that was a little bit that was a little bit annoying please don't do that again I also saw like people in Monster Hunter 3 back then. Like they would like I don't know put a monster to sleep and then they put down like barrels like all over it, hit them and yeah. Then they all exploded, did a ton of damage and all that. I don't know, that's way too extra for me. I don't know. Maybe I will resort on doing that against the beam of someday, but Against normal monsters like these, do I really need to put up traps and barrels and all that? I mean, you can jump on monsters, you can climb them, you can blind them with like flash flies. There are traps all over the place, like boulders and whatever. I mean, is it really necessary to even put more traps and all that? Now you also have those things, which do a little bit more damage. But maybe that's what makes a difference between me and a uh, comp. I don't know, competent hunter. I don't know. Maybe I'm like the worst hunter ever, and I just don't know it yet. I would say I'm pretty good at this game. Okay. God dang it. But I'm uh, I'm way better in this game than I'm on like I don't know. Once under free, I think. Then again, I didn't play too much. I didn't play too far in Monster and Free. Well, actually, I did. I play like until high rank, I think. But then there was like a quest, like an arena quest. I think it was the very start of Master Rank or whatever came after that. And oh, there we go. I think it was the very start of Master Rank or whatever was, whatever came after High Rank or whatever. And there was an arena quest where you had to find uh, Lagia Cross, which is like the main monster of One Santa Free. This like water snake dragon thing. And something else, I think, uh, or was it only a uh, laggy across? Anyway, I did like a ton of damage the first time I tried that battle. And yeah, for some reason, it scared me a little bit off to continue playing this game. I have to go up here. Maybe I should have like updated my equipment and all that. That is probably why I couldn't progress, but yeah. After getting destroyed so badly, I never touched the game again. Or at least attempt to continue playing it. Unlike this game where I, like, played everything, did everything. Continue playing this game. Still having fun with this game. So, yeah. By the way, boom. Oh, uh, da! Why did you have to do that? Okay, since this thing is almost dead, it would be pretty good to use this. I'm just glad this thing doesn't do like I don't know poison or stun. What is happening with you, Pinky? Ah! I mean, I yeah, stun. I got stunned either way, but yeah. I really hope there's a quest in the future that gives me sunglasses, but the master rank version of that, so that I get immune to stun again. Because it makes battle a little bit harder. It's like the same thing with like Street Fighter, where you get like stunned in the middle of battle just randomly. If you get hit in, in the head a few times or whatever. 
I've always thought that was way too random. And considering this is also a Capcom game, I think that's where they took it from. Are oh, you not seeing me? Okay. Ah, oh, I thought I was still hidden. Oh, you're running away still. Oh, let me guess. You're gonna get back right here again, are you? Hey, wait a moment. Oh, okay, that's the rattles. I was, I was about to say there's a cross over there. Why are you going over there? Okay, it looks like we don't find any more tracks of what of the Elder Dragon. So I just hope we can find some tracks in the Wild Spireway, so else I have to go on an expedition or a mission or whatever. And find some more tracks off screen. Which I would really like not to. I would really like to find those tracks while recording so that we get this out of the way. And the fact that this thing gets stuck in the ground with its tail makes it a lot more easier. Boom, there we go. Why are you saying that? <laughs> I'm going down as the greatest hunter in history. I just defeated this thing. Like, it wasn't really that hard. Like, at all. It it was really not i mean i died once yeah but that was just that was just me like getting a ton of damage after getting stunned i don't know okay i'm just walking around here to see if i can find more tracks but yeah that was i didn't feel that accomplished like this thing was not that hard was a ton more easier than the rat uh, the rattle loss or diablo that i had fought off screen so yeah wouldn't consider myself a master hunter because of that all right i oh, have yeah, used a, a ticket okay what's that and the evade window skill. Is that a super thingy? Master rank 8. And we got a lot of those things. A new arena quest has been added. Alright. Where well, I probably have to fight against this thing again. Not gonna do that between episodes. Not yet. So, good. Let's get, I don't know. Let's take a look at the equipment that I can make now from this thing. I mean, the barrier of uh, equipment was really good, even though I get some effects that I don't really, that don't really work with great swords, apparently. But still, yeah, continue your game in off-screen mode. Okay, uh, boom. Boom. All right. Uh, research base. Hey, Mira. Core puke puke. Okay. One. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can make out of those things. I would really like to get a better. I mean, I can get a better weapon. I think I already said that. Okay, let's make uh, some better equipment for my Palico. I always forget that. But first, boom. Peak performance. It's like when I'm at full HP, right? Yeah. That is actually not too bad, considering I heal myself with each hit. Piercing armor and dragon piercer. Piercing armor and dragon piercer. Uh, sharpness loss, uh, evade window, speed crawler, 
Why would I ever need that? Like <laughs> stamina search. That's like oh okay. That is not too bad. But where have my in my belt thingy? Quick sheet recovery up. I think I have recovery up decorations. So I mean, this is just. I mean, the equipment is actually just a little bit ninja. Kinda. It's not official right now. I just have this equipment before I like get some Elder Dragon equipment, which will probably like my my main stuff. Uh, boom! There we go. Okay. What is your current thingy? Gajaka said, "Melee fifty, range 40. Uh, this one is a little bit stronger, but I would like to have a sword, if at all. Fire damage, melee. I don't know why I want to have a sword, but yeah, I don't know." get that or maybe this one right loss Boom. and some better equipment I guess I mean it won't change that much what's your current equipment anyway I have like queuing equipment on pinky right Do I? Do I have everything equipped? What? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, it's like the stuff. Okay. Oh, I thought you were walking around with layered armor or something. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't know. There's something that I have a lot of. I don't know. I don't really care too much what a Palico is equipped anyway, so I don't know. I mean, this thing doesn't even die, like I think it died like once against the rattles maybe but that's it <laughs> so yeah um we got one more quest to deal with that would be the quest against whatever that thing is called glavinos which doesn't tell me anything this thing looks like uh Giratodos thingy which really is not something that i'm look i'm looking forward to <laughs> uh yeah but anyway i hope we find some tracks of the elder dragon while we are doing this quest if not then after the next quest i guess i have to do some expedition on the ancient forest and yeah but as for now i think that's it for this part in the next episode we do the next mission the next assigned mission and yeah hope you enjoyed this part please consider leaving a like a comment or subscribe that would be really nice of you and i'll see you in the next part bye bye